It's been a long time coming, so we're really thrilled at the progress and the development of such a beautiful space as part of our communities in Sefton is going to be fabulous. I know, as I say, really excited. I look behind me and I think, well, this used to be the old Christiana Hartley Paternity Hospital. What a difference we'll see. What a fabulous building this is going to be. Great to have all the teams co-located on one floor, so all our community teams will come together, um, and this will be one of the exciting opportunities that we've got to develop in our new service. Yeah, oh, the um, building works. It's kind of cool around here. It's cool. We can't uh -huh. wait till this is built. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hartley Hospital. We really have to look at starting 2021 as a really hopeful year that not only are we starting to deliver services from one new absolutely fantastic hospital, but we are looking forward to the next stage of our developments for all of our community and inpatient mental health services across the Trust. It sure is, and it's Helen with you on Drive. This wonderful story, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, has officially opened a new mental health hospital on Merseyside today. Hartley Hospital in Southport's a £21 million state-of-the-art facility run by Mersey Care NHS Foundation Trust. It combines mental health inpatient care and related community services on one site for the very first time. Mersey Care's chief executive is Professor Joe Rafferty. First of all, the place is really out of date. Uh, facilities where patients didn't have their own rooms, access to private wash facilities and so on. So we've got 40 ensuite single rooms which are really beautiful um, and I think you know one of the important things I want to get across today is sometimes mental health facilities are seen as sort of grab and down at mouth and you know not very well sort of appointed and so on and Hartley Hospital is beautiful. The rooms are excellent, um, it's bright, it's cheerful now, she'll get to see a lot of um, buildings throughout the country. How impressed was she? You obviously greeted her and showed her around. So what was your impression that her impression would be of uh, the new facility? She was hugely positive about it. She, she loved that it was a very open facility. There are big white corridors. Uh, the colour schemes are very, um, very soft, pleasant and immediately help people calm down. What she was particularly impressed with was the fact that here you have hospitals sat in the middle of the urban airport, but there are really pleasant courtyards in the middle of it. There's open access to you know, fresh air, light, and you know, lots of nice uh, gardens with you know, flowering plants and so on. So, so I think she was particularly impressed with the way that we balance the importance of giving great medical and clinical care to people, but recognising too that their social context, their well-being, you know, is often stimulated by, you know, places of calm and by immediate access to outdoors on a day like this. That's a wonderful uh, update. Many thanks uh, for joining us, uh, Professor Joe. Thank you for your time today. Thanks so much. It was amazing to meet the Princess Royal. Um, I'm very proud to be able to talk about my team and what we do in the community. Um, I had quite a nice conversation with her. She's very interested in young people and young people's mental health. I got an opportunity to take her Royal Highness uh, on a guided tour around the world and show her um, the amazing facilities at Hartley Hospital. We have ensuite facilities now that we didn't have before and we had some activities going in the, on, on in the activity room that the patients were engaging with. Um, she also managed to speak to some of the patients about their experience on the ward, which was really positive as well, um, which I found really good. It was lovely. It was um, it was lovely for the patients um, as well as the staff. Um, she was very engaging. The patients were able to share a little bit of time with her. Um, she took time out to go around both our complex care wards and our adult wards. A um, number of patients were able to sort of have a couple of minutes, talk through some of their experiences and like I said, for the staff as well, it's quite a positive morning, um, you know, talking quite highly of the NHS during difficult times. Absolutely thrilled that she could join us today to open Archie Hospital. She was so interested in everything. She took all the time she wanted to take and asked lots of questions. She saw a number of wards and was very interested in the design of the hospital and the design of the spaces. 
I just want on behalf of the Trust and everybody here to say a huge thank you. And it's particularly appreciated, not just because we're mental health and sometimes it feels even more important that we're recognised by visitors and by yourself and by the, the opening of our lovely hospital, but at the particular period that you can. It's very, very much appreciated. And it's so heartening and it's about hope and the future rather than struggling and uh, having to cope with what's been going on. And so, can I just ask you, I think there's something to pull on that side. <laughs> You'll be very familiar. Amazingly, yes. Yes. <laughs> got, it, got it the right way around. Try and make sure that works. But I appreciate that having a new building is a, is a bonus. But actually, when it arrived, it was probably quite difficult at uh, that moment to choose. But I hope very much it's proved it's worth already. Um, but I have to say, I'm hugely impressed by the, your use of outdoor spaces, which I think is absolutely critical um, for the individuals who come here. Uh, and I hope that the staff too get to benefit from that, because there's no doubt that that's been your, the level that you've had to cope with uh, in these last 18 months has been quite extraordinary. And we rather hope we don't have to go through that again, because every sort of reason. Too hot out here, did it? No. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank, thank you. you. This would be interesting. This is a. The butter is next yes. to Hartley's village. Yeah. 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 It's been people like him had a huge impact, but he's not the only one in the area who used that ability to make a huge impact. Yeah, yeah. Living there. Yeah, it's been quite a few in, in Sefton yeah. very well. Yeah. Yeah. My uh, marmalade transformed them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think of it now, but it's it definitely made because they were exotic. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Would you be to have a picture with the staff? Or is there not time for that? No, that might be quite a challenge. Maybe they're more than one place. <laughs> 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 that be okay. Everybody squeeze in. Squeeze in. That's not what I said. It's very good. You're past the circle of this. I think it would be perfect, huh? <laughs> Wide. And it was a great occasion to meet the, the Princess Royal today. Not only to meet her personally, but also the culmination of five years hard work in getting this place up and running. Um, and I'm immensely proud 
of the fact that a member of the royal family actually came here and took such a great interest. I was fortunate to have a few minutes talk with her about service user involvement and I think she was particularly impressed with that as indeed she was with the rest of the visit that she had.